The Amity Regional offense to date has not gotten on track. In fact, over the last four games, the two and four Spartans have scored only one touchdown from scrimmage. Even with the offense's problems, Coach Len butch Marazzi does have quality running backs in Joe Audie and Brett Dedman, along with a potential passing threat in senior quarterback Greg Hulcher. Derby High School comes into the Housatonic League game with an uncharacteristic 500 record. Coach Charlie DeCenzo came away impressed with the Amity defense in the Spartans game last weekend against Cheshire. The Red Raiders' wishbone offense, as usual, will rely on the running of John and Roman, Jason Palmieri and Mike Traz, the passing combination of quarterback Chris Gradadoria and tight end Todd Hunter. From Sim Field in Woodbridge, it's Derby against Amity Regional in a Housatonic League matchup on Cable 10 Sports Valley High School Football Game of the Week. Hello again, everyone. Ed Clemens uh, speaking to you from Sim Field in Woodbridge. Normally, Buddy Chernovitz would be standing next to me this uh, evening, but uh, Buddy unable to make this football game. Uh, we have the very capable uh, Fran Cirillo to help us out on the Valley Cablevision this evening. Fran Cirillo has had an extensive coaching background. Uh, most recently, Fran was the uh, assistant uh, coach at Seymour High School under Coach Paul Sponheimer. That was a number of years ago, Fran, and you were the offensive coordinator. Exactly when did you uh, do the coaching for Paul Sponheimer? And actually, I uh, worked with Paul for two years during the 1980-81 season. I had some very enjoyable years with Paul. I believe... And, uh, by the way, uh, thank you very much for inviting me here tonight. I, I'm sure we'll enjoy it. You're quite welcome, Fran. And I believe you also coached under Coach uh, Dan Heffern in some years oh, before yes, that. Oh, yes, yes. This was much earlier. It was about 10 years earlier. Dan and I have been up there about four years with Dan Heffern, and a very fine offensive mind. Okay, now let's get to this football game this evening, Derby against Amity. Now, we know that Amity has had their offensive problems. Uh, as, a, as a coach, what do you do to get this offense going? Well, that it might be true, and so, uh, Amity has had their offensive problems, but, you know, I've just checked who they've played. They've played all the powerhouses in the league, the Housatonic League. They've played Cheshire, North Haven, and Brantford, and very few teams have scored against them. Uh, they've also played Norwich Free Academy, another fine team. Uh, I'm anxious to see what Amity can do tonight. Uh, uh, Derby might be one of their, I hate to say this, one of their easier opponents thus far. All right, now let's talk about the uh, other side of the ledger. The Derby Red Raiders, they come off a tough, emotional loss to Ansonia. Uh, and Coach Charlie DeCenzo during the week said to me, very frankly, that uh, he doesn't know sometimes what's worse, coming off a, a, a win against Ansonia, or, or as the case this year, coming off a loss to Ansonia. It's just a tough game, the next game for Derby after Ansonia. And it's always, it's always tough playing a team like Ansonia, especially this year they were rated number one in the state. Uh, you're going to have an emotional letdown. You're going to have an emotional letdown whether you win or lose the game. I've discussed this with Coach DeCenzo. He's mentioned this to me, and I agree with him. Uh, I don't know how Derby's going to play tonight. They could come out aggressive. They can come out angry, wanting to, wanting to, to win. They're going to have to reach deep down to do this, however. They have to find their motivation. It won't be easy for them. And we're going to find out ourselves, and we'll be right back with the opening kickoff right after these messages. Welcome back, everyone, and we are moments away from the opening kickoff here at Sim Field in Woodbridge. Here's truly Ed Clements along with Fran Cirillo presenting our Cable 10 Sports Valley High School Football Game of the Week. The Amity Spartans have won the opening coin to us, and they have deferred their option to the second half, so the Raiders will get the football to start this football game. Fran, you made an excellent point in our in our stand-up in our pregame show, when we detail the problems of the Amity Spartans on offense, the point is that they have faced the three top teams in the Housatonic League. Yes, they have, Ed, and it'll be interesting to see uh, what Amity is able to do against uh, against Derby tonight. Hey, let's do, and the Derby Red Raiders, they are not exactly chopped liver on defense themselves. They have an excellent defense. No, absolutely team. not. Amity's gonna have all they can handle, and it's gonna be very important for them to move the ball against the Raiders tonight. Right. 
There's the opening kickoff going to the center of the field. And brought up to the 35-yard line. Raiders will take over from that point. Bill DeMeo on the tackle for the Amity Spartans. Let's take a look now at that Derby Red Raider offense. That's the same offense employed against the Ansonia Chargers. The Raiders get it to start this uh, Lusitonic League game. Raiders open up in that ball. First and 10 as they have the football at the 35. That's the give to the left halfback, John and Roman. And Roman gets maybe one or two yards on the play. Let's, let's take a look now at that Amity Spartan defense. Gain of two on the first down uh, carry, the first play from scrimmage, and the Raiders will now have a second and eight, the football at the 37-yard line. The fullback is Traz, the halfback's in Roman, along with Palmieri, and Palmieri with the football slides off the left side, and Palmieri crosses the 40 to about the 41, upended there by Darren Murray. Just underway, just underway from here at Sim Field in Woodbridge. Out to the bottom part of your picture. That's 33. Greta Doria back to throw on third down over the middle. It's an incompleted pass intended for the tight end Todd Hunter and coverage provided by Greg Hulcher in the secondary. Okay, Greta Doria back to throw. Uh, his receiver was well covered on the play. Great defensive play by the Amity Spartans. So the Raiders now faced with a fourth down situation. They will punt the football away. We are early in this football game. The Raiders unable to move on their first offensive possession. Fair catch called for down at the 31 yard line and the Amity Spartans will take over first and 10. Let's take a look now at that Amity Spartan offense. Line of scrimmage will be the 31 yard line. And Amity opens up in the bone, the wishbone, double tight end. Full back is Lou, the halfback's Denman and Audie. And the gift to the right halfback off the left side for a pair, Matt D. Barberi on the tackle for the Derby Red Raiders. So a little bit of surprise for the Amity, Amity Spartans as they open up with the bone and the double tight ends. Let's take a look now at the Derby Red Raider defense. Second and long for the Amity Spartans at their own 31-yard line. That is Joe Audie off the left halfback spot, running off the right side, stopped at the line of scrimmage by Bonanto and Gennetti, two of the quad captains for the Derby Red Raiders. Okay, Amity line up in the bone. And uh, Derby runs this. This is a power play off, off right tackle. Both Derby and Amity will run this play several times tonight. You've got to establish that tackle hole to move the ball. Coming off the field, number 88, Gil Jennings, who is going to be one of the tight ends for the Amity Spartans. As the Spartans stay in that tight formation in the wishbone, third and six for the Spartans. Just underway from here at Sim Field in Woodbridge. Fake inside, Ultra wants to put it up and overthrows the intended receiver. That was Nathan Youngberg, 6'6", 222 pound junior tight end. Okay, Hulcher back to pass. He has his big tight end, number 81, Youngbird, in the flat. However, he overthrows. Just overthrew the ball. Had him open, but overthrew. Brett Dedman is the Amity punter. And Dedman is standing at his 20-yard line and just gets the punt off. And it's a fine punt going over Owens' head. 
inside the 20 yard line and Jeff is just gonna let it roll dead inside the 15 yard line. Ed, that punt could be a great offensive weapon. They have Derby bottle up here. Make that a 51 yard kick. First down for the Derby Red Raiders. And the line of scrimmage is their 14 yard line. This is the second possession for the Raiders. Palmieri finding the going tough as he goes off the left side. Stopped by the defensive end, Brett Dedman. Early in the first quarter, no score in this Housatonic League battle as you get a look at the third year head football coach here at Amity, Len Butch Marazzi. Hunter is the tight end to the right side, second down for the Raiders. The give inside to the fullback, Traz. And Traz barrels ahead for a couple. Chris Costanza on the tackle for the Amity Spartans. Earlier, our producer, Liz Kennard, caught up with uh, Coach Len Marazzi of the Amity Spartans, and she asked the coach about the offensive problems of the Amity Spartans and what reasons the coach uh, uh, had behind the problems. This year, yes, we've, Liz, we've definitely had some problems uh, scoring uh, points. Uh, we're 2-4, and four, and it seems as though we move the ball very well. We're getting down around the 20, and for one reason or another, uh, we've just been coming up short. But hopefully that's going to change tonight. I think the kids are excited about playing Derby. We played very well against Shelton, and it seems as though we, we play our best football against Valley teams, and so we're hoping for a big night tonight. Welcome back, everyone. A third and seven being faced by the Derby Red Raiders. Greta Dory on a fly pattern downfield. Has a receiver out there on the far side of the field. Incomplete. Coverage by Hulcher. And that looked to be Kutcher. It was Steve Kutcher, the wide receiver. Okay, Greta Dory just on a fly pattern. Kutcher goes on a fly pattern. And of course, the ball is broken up there by Hulcher. Another fine defensive play by the Emily Spartans. And we're locked in a defensive tussle thus far here at Sim Field in Woodbridge. Ooh. Punt is rolling down into Amity territory at about the 43 yard line down there by the Raiders. And so Amity will take over. It'll be their second offensive possession of the football game. Earlier, our producer, uh, Liz Kennard, also caught up with head coach uh, Charlie DeCenzo of the Derby Red Raiders, and she asked the seven-year uh, seven head football coach at Derby the problems in getting the Raiders ready after an emotional game against the Ansonia Chargers. Liz, it's a difficult uh, job to get them up after the Ansonia game, uh, win or lose. Last year, we won the game, and the kids were so, so sky high after the game, and the following week, it's very difficult for them to concentrate you know, on, on what you're trying to do. When you lose the game like we did this year, everybody's down. I mean, the fans are down, the coaches are down, the kids are down. It, it's a very difficult task, but you just go out there every day and you try to do the best possible job you can, hope that they uh, absorb some of what you've given them, and then you hope now tonight in the ball game, like you hope maybe we get a big play early in the game or something, and then once you get into the game, they, they kind of forget that and, and just kind of concentrate on this game now. But you do need something to happen quick here. Welcome back, everyone. First and 10 for the Amity Spartans. To give inside, that's Lou with the football, but he is going nowhere. Stopped initially by Mike Valentine. And you might see number 81 checking out of the lineup, Nathan Youngberg, and coming in at the other tight end, Gil Jennings. Chris Costanza is the other tight end, as the Amity Spartans have thus far gone tight on the Derby Red Raiders. There's motion on the right side of that line, the right tackle, Bellanio, a look to jump off, and that might go against the Amity Spartans. And that's an encroachment call going against Amity. Hey, this is shaping up to be a defensive battle with both teams using similar offenses and similar plays. Like a mirror image. <laughs> yes, it is. It's amazing how many teams have gone to the wishbone offense in the Housatonic League. 
You talk about that, Fran, of course, the Cheshire Rams, they run, they run a, a fantastic wishbone offense, the Brantford Hornets. Just they perfected it this year, the Cheshire Rams. Second and 15 for Amity. Go, Audie. Audie. Gets back to the maybe the original line of scrimmage. He was slowed up by Janetti. Okay, it's a power play off tackle. The fullback and the right halfback leading the interference. However, it's broken up blue beautifully in there by Chris Bonanto, number 61. Football marked at the 40-yard line of the Amity Spartans. We're in the first quarter play. There is no score. The Amity Spartans have a third and 12. Their line of scrimmage is the 40-yard line. Quarterback is the senior, Greg Holcher. And Audie tries to center of that line, spins across the 45, finally upended by Chris Bonanto. It will not be nearly enough for a first down, and the Spartans are going to have to punt the football away. Okay. Okay. Here's number 27, Joe Audi, on a counter play. He finds a little running room in there, but it's quickly closed by, well, by the center of that Raider line, led by Chris Bonanto, number 61. And so far, we have heard, we have heard Chris's name. We've called his name several times. We expect to for the rest of this football game. Deadman is the punter. And it's fielded by Owens. Owens with a wall on the far sidelines, and Jeff brings it up near midfield before he's stopped by number 56, Jason Ricciatelli. With a scoreless football game at Sim Field at Woodbridge, let's take this timeout. Welcome back, everyone. First down for the Raiders. After the fine return by Jeff Owens, that's Palmieri breaking tackles along the far sidelines before he's finally stopped by Richard Telly. Jason Richard, Jason Palmieri, 5'11", 180 pound junior running back. Okay, Derby splits the ball and goes to a pro, pro offense, has a flanker left, gives the ball to Palmieri, breaks to the outside, finds some running room. First down for the Raiders, just inside the Amity 40-yard line. Split backs for the Raiders. There's the pitch, Palmieri. Straight power play on the sweep for the Raiders before he's upended in the secondary by Hulcher. Once again, using the same, using the same offense to pitch to Palmieri, some good blocking up front, finds a lot of running room. The Raiders have broken the bone momentarily. And the Raiders have just picked up another first down too. First down inside the Amity 30, split backs, a wing to the right side. And that's Enrollment with the football, John Enrollment, the other junior running back in that backfield. And Costanza on the tackle for the Amity Spartans. Yeah, Amity's having some problems adjust, adjusting to Derby's uh, new sets that they're throwing in here now. And they, uh, that's causing some confusion. Here's Ann Roman taking the ball off tackle, finding good running room in there with some excellent blocking up on front, especially by Chris Bonanto again, leading the offensive charge. Second down for the Raiders, just outside the 20-yard line. Split backs, wing to the left side. Redadori wants to throw. And he's not going to be able to get it off. Number 79, Dave Audy was all over Gredadoria. Flag on the play and let's await the official's call. Okay, I want to see what the flag's all about. But here, uh, Gredadoria goes back to throw. He has almost no time. Okay, there's a face mask. There's a face mask. Okay. Dave Audy. on the call. And so the Red Raiders are gonna have the football deeper into Amity territory. Got three minutes and one tick left here uh, in the first quarter play from Simfield and Woodbridge. And the Raiders have themselves another first down. The 
Raiders go back to the ball. Now they shift out of the ball. There's the pitch. Palmieri with the football. Palmieri, touchdown derby. Jason Palmieri. Jason Palmieri taking the pitch, finding a great deal of running room. They run this play three times successfully so far, and once again, Amity's having a very difficult time adjusting to derby sets. Raiders will be going for the one point, and it's almost an automatic when Bizzotto puts his uh, foot to the football, and Bizzotto drills it through the uprights, and the Raiders have taken a seven to nothing lead. And of course it was Palmieri doing much of the damage on that drive. Palmieri taking it in finally from 14 yards out for the first score of this football game. And he ran with, he ran with good authority. He wanted that end zone and he found it. Uh, he has been running well the past couple of weeks. I believe that the Derby has found two very potent backs in N. Roman and Palmieri. I believe they're both juniors. You can check that for, yes they are. Uh, well, Derby can look forward to some good backfield action for next year. Kicking off for the Raiders will be Bizzotto. And Deadman along with Audie back deep for the Spartans. There is Bizzotto in your picture. Raiders lead it seven to nothing. And Steve kicks it long and over end. Deadman. Knocked out of bounds close to his 30 yard line by a trio of Raiders led by number 84, Brian Marcusio. And right now, uh, Derby has the momentum. Amini does want to generate something now on offense. And we've talked uh, about the offensive problems, and right away, the offense is, they are down by seven, seven to nothing, and, and the Amity Spartans just have not put, put the points on the scoreboard this year. Hulcher on the option. With the football running it, Greg Hulcher off the right side, crosses his 35 close to the 40 yard line before he's upended by Bozzato in the secondary. There's the senior quarterback. Here's Hulcher with an option down the line, thanks to his fullback. Okay, now he has the option to pitch, but he finds some running room up front, okay, and he takes it in for some good yardage. Under two minutes to play here in the first quarter, and Amity on a successful first down play, second and short, football close to their 40 yard line as they stay in a tight formation with the wishbone. Ulcher wants to try the other side. Uh-uh, nothing doing. Matt D. Barberi gets to him first. All right, here's Hulcher again. He's gonna try the same play to the left. However, he gets too wide on the play and there's a great defensive play in there made by number 75, Matt D. Barberi. He also helped Fran from uh, Pat McMahon on the play and the Raiders have defensed uh, defense that play quite well. Well, they've, they've been playing good defense tonight, uh, Ed. So a loss on the play brings up a third down for the Amity Spartans at their 32. Late in this first quarter play, Derby leads at seven to nothing. Ulcher throwing on third down. It's a completed pass to Deadman. Deadman finally taken down by number 81, Todd Hunter. And it is short of the yardage needed for the first down. All right, Deadman's back to throw. He finds his receiver, Deadman, in the flat. Uh, the pass is completed. However, it's short of the first down. They'll have to punt. So Deadman will be kicking the ball away. Back deep, Owens, along with N. Roman. Owens with the football. And a fine open field tackle 
by number 50, Don Perry. Otherwise, Owens might have had a lot of free real estate in front of him. Okay, Owens uh, receiving the punt. Gets a couple of blocks up front, finds a little hole. However, fortunately, he's tripped up. And Ed, you're right. If it wasn't for that tackle, he would have gone a long way. Don Perry tripped up Owens at that point, but the Raiders do have the football. Excellent field position, Fran. And the momentum, Ed. And sure, they have that lead. They have the football just outside the 40, and we have played one quarter here at Simfield and Woodbridge. Our score is Derby 7 and Amity Regional nothing. Welcome back, everyone, to start the second quarter play. The Raiders have it outside their 40, and Grutt wants to put it up on first down. It's got a receiver at midfield and into Amity territory. Peterkin on the tackle, and the reception by the fullback, Traz. Okay, go to Bart, go to Doria, back to throw. He's out to the side. He finds his receiver. Mike Traz. Good rate of yardage. First down. And it was the young sophomore in the secondary, Kurt Peterkin, that took down Traz, but not before the Raiders have a first down at the 40 of Amity. The Raiders are clicking on all cylinders offensively. And Roman off the right side inside the 40. Stopped after just one on the play. Darren Murray, one of the captains for the Spartans, on the tackle for the Spartans. Well, here's the play they've been running with Palmieri to the left side. They try with Ann Roman to the right. However, the Amity Spartans have it well defensed. Picks up short yardage in there. Second down play for the Raiders. Gradatoria steps up in the pocket, throws incomplete, intended for the tight end. That was Hunter, and coverage by Peterkin on the play. Gradoria back to throw. The Amity Spartans are in there very, very quickly. And all they can do to stop him being tackled does get the ball off. However, it's overthrown. Good defense, the Amity Spartans. Well, in terms of the Amity Spartans, this is a critical part of the football game for them down 7 yes, and nothing. This is a very big play for them, Ed, right here. Third and long for the Raiders. A draw. To Palmieri, Palmieri inside the 35, finally wrestled down by Brett Dedman. All right, Derby's gonna run a draw play here to Palmieri. This play has been very effective for the past three weeks. Uh, he finds some running room, almost picks up the first down. It might be enough for the Raiders to try for that first down, Ed. Well, it'll be a Coach Desenzo's decision whether this is four down territory for him, but you're right to Fran, and football is at the end, but he's 33, he's got about two yards to go for the first down. A reminder, might go for it here, Ed. Greta Dory is in the football game, which leads us to believe that Coach Desenzo is going to go for it. A reminder, Fran, I was going to say that at the conclusion of the football game, we'll be making the presentation of our Fitzpatrick's Player of the Game Award. And when we resume play here, Raiders will have a fourth down and two. Football is at the Amity 33-yard line. Just a perfect night for high school football. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Tonight. Here we are, Fran, late October, and the weather this past week could not have been better. Buddy Chernovitz and I, last week, we were we were bemoaning the, the weather last weekend in, in that Derby and Sonia game. Not the actual game day, but the rainy conditions. Who, who could figure it? Oh, you can't. We have the window open tonight, and it's just a beautiful night. Well, the Raiders are going to go for it, and the Spartans are digging in. It'll be uh, the wishbone for the Raiders, that short yardage offense. Well, Grutt's going to put it up, rolling, throwing, incomplete, in and out of the hands. That's Traz. I think he threw Traz, the ball Mike Traz out there. Traz yes, circled out of the was. backfield. He had him. Yes, he did have him out there. It is kind of blocked from our view. There it is. Yes, it was. It was Actually, it was right in his hands. He dropped it. So the Spartans will take over on downs on the incompleted pass. It was a big play for the Emmy Spartans. 
And actually a good play call by the Derby coaching staff. Yes, it was. The play was there. It wasn't executed. Execution. <laughs> That's the key to the game. Ed, that's the key to the game. So the Spartans take over first and 10 from their 33-yard line. Oh. That is Audie, and what a hit. We could hear it up here. Valentine. Yes, it was. That was I, you know, uh, Yemeni had gone to a wishbone in an attempt probably to surprise the Raiders. However, the Raiders have faced some pretty good wishbone teams. Uh, Ansonia runs a little bit of it. Cheshire runs a little bit of it. You're not going to surprise the Raiders with a wishbone offense, Ed. Cheshire, and I've talked to, uh, with the coach DeCenzo quite a few times this year. Now, I haven't seen Cheshire, but they run the full package wishbone. So, oh, they sure do. So you're really not going to surprise. This This is basically not a big surprise for that Derby defense. They can adjust to it. No, it isn't. And I believe they made a, they've already made the adjustments to the wishbone. Fake inside to the fullback. There's the pitch. That's going to Deadman. He is stuck in the backfield. like a flag out there on a personal foul of some kind. Ed. But once again, Derby had that wishbone well, well defensed. Uh, they had all parts of it covered. They had the fullback covered, they had the quarterback covered, who was forced to pitch, and they had the pitch man covered. Great defense on the part of the Raiders. And the Red Raiders have declined the penalty. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they call personal foul on both teams that they just let the play stand. It'll be a third down coming up for the Amity Spartans. The football now back at the 28-yard line. Third and 15. Derby leads at 7-0. Spartans go into that eye formation. Ultra's going to put it up on third and long. Pumps once, is hit from behind. It's a loose football. And coming up with the football, Sean Wandell, and now a scramble in front of us on the sidelines. And let's see if, how we can unravel this. Jason oh. Ricciatelli finally ended up with the football. And what had happened, uh, there was a, uh, the Amity quarterback, Hulcher, back to throw. He Okay, I'm going to catch it here. The Amity quarterback back to throw. He, he's hit. He's hit very hard by uh, Sean Wandell on the offside. He fumbles the ball. It's picked up by Riccatelli. I believe it's Riccatelli, who uh, runs the ball up, but he's short of the first down. The Amity Spartans will have to punt. So it was Richard Telly picking up the loose football. Wandell credit him on the hit, and the Spartans have to kick the football away. And Roman on the fair catch signal back at his 30-yard line, and the Raiders have the football again. And with our score, Derby 7, Amity nothing. Let's take this timeout. Welcome back, everyone. The Raiders have the football back again. After the Amity punt, that was in Roman sliding off the right side before he's taken down by Jason Richitelli. Raiders on that first down, picking up their five, six yards, and that is a comfortable situation for any offense. Yes, it is, Ed. And they've done this, uh, they did this against Ansonia last week. They were very successful with this play. I'm sure Amity had seen it on their, in their scouting reports. Football up at the 35-yard line. Raiders in that bone. Traz straight ahead. And Traz picks up the first down through the center of the Amity defense. Okay, they've been handing the ball off to their halfbacks. This time, they give it up inside to the fullback, and it's clear sailing for a good five, six yards. First down for the Derby Red Raiders, the football at the 41-yard line. Wishbone offense for the Raiders. And Gordadoria wants to put it up on first down. He gets it out there, incomplete. In and out of the hands of Ed Roman at the Amity 40. <laughs> Double coverage by the Amity Spartans. Ed, this, here's a play, a beautifully executed play. Uh, the conception was, uh, was well thought of, however, they didn't finish it off. He hit him in the hands. Hits in Roman in the hands and he simply drops the ball. Would have been six, Ed. And you see by the replay, friend, that uh, that in Roman had beaten Priano on the play. You see how. 
Second and 10 for the Raiders. They have it at their 41 yard line, second quarter action. And Roman crosses the 45 yard line. Stopped by defensive tackle Chris Costanza. Ed Derby will continue to run that play until the Amity Spartans stop it. Okay, and Roman has played him and running all night. He's power in front, full back, half back, and then Roman behind him, and he finds good running room. Third down for the Derby Red Raiders. Line of scrimmage there, 47 yard line. Second quarter action. Raiders have the football and the lead, seven to nothing. Play action. Rutt looking to throw and almost a great reception at the 40 yard line by Owens and he was defended by Steve DeMeo. Okay, good Adoria back to throw. Good protection. Finds Owens in the left flat and it's, it hits, it would have been a great catch. It would have been just a little bit too far out of his reach. It would have been a great catch. Ed. So the Raiders have a kicking situation. Fourth down, football at their 47 yard line. And the Raiders own a seven to nothing lead in the Housatonic League battle. Punter for the Raiders, Jeff Owen, standing inside his 35 yard line. Long snapper is Steve Kutcher. A loose football on the other end. The Raiders have picked up the football. It was Camerata who fumbled the football. He was back there in single safety. And Mike Valentine, Captain Mike Valentine on the recovery for the Raiders. Now here's Camerata trying to accept the punt. However, he doesn't receive the punt. The ball is fumbled and it's recovered by Mike Valentine. Raider ball. And the Raiders have it deep in Amity territory. Let's see if the Raiders can cash in on the Amity mistake. Radatoria under pressure. That is Billy DeMeo all over the senior quarterback. And a big loss taken by the Raiders. Bill DeMeo. And Amity needed a big play here, and they got one. But Adaria back to throw. Man, he's he's really he's lassoed down there. It's a good, great play by the Amity defense. And a big, big loss. And the Raiders now having a second and 22. Football now at the 34 of Amity. The Raiders have a single setback in a passing formation, and Grut wants to put it up on second and long. And let's see if we got a flag. No flag. It was Camerata bumping with Kutcher. Kudadoris once again wants to throw. Finds Kutcher over there in the left flat. However, his feet get tied up over here. He's unable to get out. That was close to a penalty. And however, the, uh, the official didn't get his flag out. So a third down coming up for the Derby Red Raiders. Football at the Amity 34, second quarter action. Derby leads at seven to nothing. Twins out to the left side for the Raiders. Single setback, a passing formation. Gradadoria throws underneath, completes it. That is Bozzato, and Bozzato gets up and gets to about the 15 yard line or thereabouts. Darren Murray finally on the tackle. Let's await the spot by the officials. Once again, Gudadoria back to throw. This time with some good protection, he finds a wide open Bizzotto. Good reader yardage. Ed, Ed, he was seven, eight yards in the clear. Good pattern by the Raiders. And they're measuring for that first down. I believe they're a little short. A few moments ago, the Raiders had a second and 22, and they have almost come up with it. Here we have a big play for both teams, Ed. 
Football now at the 14 yard line. And the Raiders just shy of the first down. Fourth and less than a yard. Wishbone. They switch out of the wishbone. Split backs. Quarterback is Greta Doria. And Roman, he's got the first down with his forward progress as he spins off a tackle and gets down to the 10. Raiders needing short yardage. Hand it off to their power back and a Roman and he finds some yards in there. Enough for the first down, a big play, Ed. And the Raiders now with a first and goal, the football inside the 10 yard line at the eight. Second quarter action, the Raiders lead at seven to nothing and looking to extend their lead as they shift out of the bone. The pitch and Roman cuts it back in at the five, dives into the end zone, John and Roman. Great play, great blocking on that right side. This play, amity has been having trouble defensing, Ed, and okay. Here they have the pitch to Ann Roman, good blocking out front, and as they've been doing all night, they're finding good running room. He makes a key cut inside, goes into the end zone, six points for the Raiders. Amity will have to adjust to that play a little better, Ed. So the junior running backs each have a touchdown yes, in this football game. Yes, they have. They're, they're putting on a performance for us tonight. Now Mary scored in the first quarter and in Roman in the second. And Mr. Automatic, Steve Bozzano, has tacked on the 14th point. And the Raiders lead it 14 to nothing. Derby's running game is cranking up, man. They're, they're filling the momentum and they're, they're doing a good job out there. Coach Desenzo, as any coach, as any good coach does, uh, off the Derby game, showing a few different wrinkles against the Amity Spartans, and, and thus far the Spartans have had a tough time adjusting. Yes, they yes they have, Ed. Uh, and if they uh, they must do a better job containing that off tackle and that uh, that pitch uh, around either end, uh, otherwise it's going to be a very long night for them. It'll be Bizzato kicking off for the Raiders back deep, Deadman along with Audie. Low line drive kick that's coming to Deadman. And Deadman is dropped on the far side of the field by number 28, John Hotke. Time out on the field and time in for these words. Welcome back everyone. The Amity Spartans down by two scores and there's a senior quarterback on the option, Hulcher. Hemmed in and finally stopped by Mike Valentine from his backer position. That football now at the 24 yard line. Hulcher only picked up one on the play. And Fran Cirillo, the, we talked about the Amity problems on offense, and here they are, they're down 14 to nothing in the football game. Well, they're running against a very determined the Derby defensive team tonight. We wondered how Derby would play, we're finding out. And they stay in that ball in Amity, tight formation. Joe Audie, the ball carrier, he's tied up by Chris Bonanto. Chris Bonanto, 6'2", 210 pounds, senior defensive tackle. Okay, we have play Deadman off tackle. The Amity's still trying to establish that tackle hole. However, it's closed up very quickly by Chris Bonanto. Chris Bonanto, the fourth Bonanto to be a captain for the Derby Red Raiders. His grandfather uh, was a captain, the fa father Jim Bonanto. And of yes, course I, I believe my father played with one of the Bonantos. I know them all very well. I know the Bonanto family very well. And a couple of years ago, of course, Chris's older brother, Jay. So Chris, the Here's fourth the option. Audie. Audie on the on the option, upended by the Raider, Jason Palmieri. And once again, Ed, uh, Derby has seen the option many, many times this year, and they're defensing it very well tonight. Line of scrimmage is the 25-yard line for the Amity Spartans. 
And they have a fourth down and fourth and eight. And Dedman's going to be punting the football away as Coach Len Marazzi would just like to, at this point, get into halftime down by only two scores. High punt. And in Roman directing traffic, keeping his uh, fellow Raiders away from the football, rolls dead at the Raider 40. Two minutes and change left here in the first half of play. The Raiders have uh, had this game at this point comfortably in control. They scored once in the first quarter. It was a 14-yard touchdown run by Jason Palmieri. And just a few moments ago, the second score by the Raiders, it was John and Roman from eight yards out for the second derby score. The Raiders go to that tight formation and the bone. And Greta Doria wants to put it up on first down. Is it a catch or is it an incompletion at midfield? It was intended for Owens, and it's a reception. Okay, Guadadoria back to throw. Once again, he finds Jeff Owens, who makes an excellent catch over there. Beautiful catch. Yeah, it's a catch. Okay. And right directly in front of us, as you Raider see the first down. As you see the scoreboard clock, the time ticking down here, and the Derby in a two-minute offense. Guadadoria pressure. Incomplete out to the right side. Priano on the coverage for the Raiders. Check that for the Spartans. Kudadori again back to throw. The Raiders are not going to sit on this ball, Ed. This pass is a little errant. Good play. Good play by number 67 for the Amity Spartans. John Priano. I'm surprised Derby's not just sitting on it, going into the half, comfortable with that comfortable 14 and nothing lead. Second down for the Raiders, just at midfield. They lead it 14 to nothing, and Grutt wants to put it up. Sideline pattern, it's picked off by number 11, DeMeo, Steve DeMeo. Stepped in front of the Derby receiver and picked it off. Well, the kind of things that concern coaches are these sideline patterns. Uh, Gudadaria doesn't get real stable footing in there and throws the interception. Ball is well played by the Amity Spartans. Number 11 for the Amity Spartans. Steve DeMeo picks it off, and that's the kind of thing I was concerned with, Ed. And the, I'm glad I'm not out there coaching. <laughs> and, the, and the pass was intended for Kutcher, and it was a nice hit by Palmieri that dragged DeMeo down at that point. Otherwise, the mayo might have picked. That could up. have been. That could have put the Amity Spartans right back in the game. And speaking First, about putting them back over. in, Culture to Costanza before he is knocked down in the secondary by Bazzato. The interception has given the Spartans some momentum. Hulcher back to throw, finds Costanza. Great catch, and the Amity Spartans have time to put it in. So a timeout is called on the field. As Coach uh, Butch Marazzi is going to go out to his uh, team's offensive uh, huddle. You know what? You're always concerned about when you're when you have a lead like this with a couple of minutes on the clock. Should you go for another score? Or should you play more conservatively and take your comfortable lead into the locker room? Uh, I give Coach Asenzo a lot of credit. He opted to go for another score. I, I'm not in love with that sideline pattern he threw, however. Fran, of course, we, we mentioned on pre-game pre uh, in the beginning of the 1980s was an offensive coordinator for Coach Paul Sponheimer. And I made he, similar mistakes, Ed. <laughs> and I'm sure uh, there were also... Many of those, of course, I've comfortably I've forgotten. I've, uh, and there's also a lot of good plays in, in, that you called also, too. Uh, so thank it, you, Ed. It balances out. We've got under a minute to go here in the first half, and the Spartans have it at the Derby 40-yard line. Second and short. Hulcher looking to throw. Incomplete. Intended for DeMeo and broken up by Martin. Checking into that uh, 
Amity Huddle now, number 10, Jeff Love, with the play from the sidelines. And checking out, number 21, Jimmy Camerata. Jimmy Camerata is a tremendous football player. Goes only a 5'4", 125-pound sophomore, but a lot of heart. And Amity's going to have to throw to put the ball in here. Well, they've got third and inches, Fran, for the first down. And well, they're opting to go for the first down. And okay, they'll pick they it up. To hurry up. But that clock is going to be moving. It's Janetti on the tackle. And Audie was the ball carrier. Well, they've got the first down, and as Buddy Chernovitz likes to tell me, they've got to get on that football yes, right now. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. First down. Culture throwing out to the near sidelines. Incomplete. It was intended for Love. And Valentine along with Palmieri on the coverage. Okay, this is Halcher to Love. I didn't know whether they were going to throw the ball out of bounds. And however, they elected to run a play just out of the reach. Just out of the reach of Halcher. However, it does stop the clock. There you see the football smack dab on that 40-yard line. Amity has a second and 10, but more important is the fact that they only have about 30 seconds left in this first half of play. They're down by two scores, and obviously they're going to have to put that football in the air. Halcher on a drop, on a throw across the middle. The bail, the intended receiver, receiver incomplete. Bazzato on the coverage. Okay, Halcher back to throw. Finds his receiver, DeMeo, who is open. It's just out of his, just through his hands. Good play. Good effort. Third down for the Amity Spartans at the Derby 40. And again, the senior quarterback, a deep drop. And an incompleted pass slipped as he was trying to set himself. The intended receiver was the male. Sean Wandell applying the pressure to Hulcher. Okay, Ed, what I think happens on this play, Hulcher back to throw. I think Wandell actually upsets his throwing motion. Uh, yes, he does. He upsets his throwing. He made the errant pass. Good play by Wandell. There we end. Sean Wandell, a six foot, 175 pound junior defensive end. There's the third year head football coach, or at least a moment ago, we had Len Marazzi in the picture. I'd rather have the cheerleaders in the picture any day. Very attractive group, Ed. You know, all the Raiders have caused all this excitement for us with that sideline interception. I thought we were going to have an easy out here in this half. Of course, the Raiders still smarting from that from that loss last week, and uh, like to win this one big. So it's a fourth down for the Amity Spartans. The coach Marazzi has uh, given instructions to his offensive unit, and let's see what happens on the fourth down. Holcher is the quarterback. High formation. Check that. That is Love, who was checked in at the quarterback. Love fires downfield. It is incomplete. Martin on the coverage. Two intended receivers out there. He had uh, the Mayo was out there. And. Okay, hold your back to throw. He throws this one into a crowd down here, Ed. He uh, launches the ball. Of course, with the time on the clock, this is kind of what he had to do. Joe Martin is out there. You, either want, you don't want to do that so much. You either want to catch the ball or knock. Well, in this case, I would have knocked it down. I don't have that ball bouncing around back there. Good play, Joe Martin. Also uh, down there on that uh, attempted pass play, Fran was, uh, Camerata was out there along with Costanza. As, uh, the Raiders take over on downs, and that's going to just about do it for the first half as the Raiders just run it out this time. <laughs> so they don't want to create any more excitement for us up here in the booth. Our first half score... The Derby Red Raiders 14, the Amity Spartans nothing back with the halftime activities right after these messages. On the center of the field, that is the Amity Spartan Marching Band. Our halftime score is Derby 14, Amity nothing. Chris Dickerson, band director and coordinator extraordinaire. And drum major, the invincible Craig Petty. Tonight's repertoire.
tomorrow will commence with American Folk Rhapsody. Here you go, man. couldn't have done better herself. The next song tonight will be Shenandoah.
Yemeni Precision Marching Band. Thank you. And you see the Amity Spartan Regional Marching Band marching off the field, their fine halftime show here at Finn Stadium in Woodbridge. And our halftime score is Derby 14, Amity nothing. We'll be back with the second half kickoff right after these messages. Welcome back, everyone, and we're moments away from the second half kickoff, and uh, Fran Cirillo and I were uh, talking in the halftime break uh, about the first half of play, what both teams had to do in the second half. Uh, the Amity Spartans, of course, the, you know, we saw a solid defensive effort by the Amity Spartans, but again, some of the problems that have played them on offense throughout the year, they just still have not gotten them trapped. Your, your impressions of the first half, Rand, what these teams have to do in the second well, half? Well, Amity had some defensive breakdowns that uh, first half, and it did cost them. The second half, they're going to have to open up a little more, I think. Ed. They're going to have to... I don't think they could run the ball against Derby that effectively. They're going to have to mix it with a little passing, and, and they're going to have to complete those passes in order to sustain their drives. Pizzotto kicking off, that's the second half kickoff, and it's Audie with the football. And the senior running back almost breaks it as he crosses the 35-yard line, and we are underway here in the second half. The tackle made by Mike Harkin for the Derby Red Raiders. Right, here's Audie taking the kickoff, and what Amity's looking for is a big play, and they almost have it here. He does find some running room, but a good tackle by Sean Wandell in there. And he stops Audie. Spartans are on offense. So the Spartans have it to start the second half of play at the 36-yard line, and they stay in the bowl with the double tight end formation, hoping to run right at Derby. And they have thus far not been able to do it with any consistency. That is Deadman, the ball carrier, and Joe Martin on the tackle. Here's Amity with a lot of enthusiasm in the first play. They had the same play they run the first half. Off tackle by Deadman. That's their best running play this half, Ed. Good effort by the Amity Spartans. Ball now at the 44-yard line. Second and short for the Amity Spartans. Double tight end. Lou is the fullback. Audie and Deadman the halfbacks. That's Audie. And he believe he's picked up the first down as he crossed the 45. Valentine on the tackle for the Raiders. Hey, here's that counter Amity likes to run. Here's Audi taking the ball off tackle, finds some running room, enough for the Amity first down. They're on the move. Coming out, Nathan Youngberg and checking in with the play from the sidelines, Gil Jennings. Jennings, Youngberg, and Costanza have all been in at that tight end spot. Costanza has been in at one of the tight end spots and Youngberg and Jennings alternating at the other. Little movement by Lou. Then he tried to go parallel to the line. I believe that's going to go against the Spartans. Coach? It would seem that way, Ed. I think we had some uh, offensive movement that drew the Derby players offside. One thing Amity doesn't need is mistakes, Ed. Here we see uh, there's some movement. Uh, okay, okay, there's a fullback. Okay, moving, quarterback looking back, and uh, this play just didn't go. So it's a first and 15 for the Spartans. Quarterback is Holcher. They give to Denman. Denman running out of the fullback spot. And Joe Martin upends him in the secondary. So Dedman had been switched to the fullback spot, and Dedman found an opening in the middle of the Derby defense. And here's a great run by Dedman. The, the Amity fullback finds good running room in there. They're the two best running plays of the game of this series. What they for did, the Amity Spartans. Fran, what they did, they brought Lou out of the football game and they moved Deadman from one of the halfback spots and they brought in at, at uh, Deadman's halfback spot, they brought in Kasarka and moved Deadman up to the fullback spot. And it's worked. First down, whatever it is, it's worked. And that's Kasarka, the ball carrier. 
Kasarka is a 5'8", 165 pound sophomore running back. Dave Chevarella from his nose guard spot on the tackle. Okay, well, here the Amity Spartans. Handing off to Kazarka. He finds little running room in there. Good for two yards. And the ball at the 40 yard line of the Raiders. So the Spartans have taken the second half kickoff and they come back with some enthusiasm here in the second half. They're down 14 to nothing to the Raiders. Trying to run right at the Raiders. Alcher throwing off the play action. And Costanza on the reception. Now here's Halcher with some good faking in the Amity backfield. Then he finds Costanza in the flat. Good play, Amity Spartans, good catch. Well executed play. And it's a first down for the Amity Spartans. And the football at the 32 yard line of the Raiders. Raiders lead it 14 to nothing, but the Spartans have come out like a different football team. Yes, they team have, the and they're quarter. mixing it up. They're running well, they're losing counters, and they're throwing the ball. Double tight end, Kasarka and Audie, the halfbacks, the fullback is Deadman. And that's the sophomore, Kasarka, a loose football, a scramble. And the Raiders are signaling they have it, and they do. Valentine comes up with the fumble recovery. Mike Valentine. Okay, Amity halfback. Kasarka takes the ball, unfortunately loses the handle on it here. There it is there. There's the fumble. It's so frustrating for a coach to have a drive going. Ball's recovered by the Raiders, and it's so frustrating, Ed, for, for a coach to see that happen. You're moving the ball well, and you make a terrible mistake. So the Raiders on the turnover have the football back, their first possession of the second half. And they have it at their 32 yard line. They lead it 14 to nothing. But this is always a tough football game against Amity Regional High School. And Coach DeCenzo is well aware of that. Jason Palmieri, Palmieri on the carry for the Raiders, tied up by defensive tackle Dave Audy. Yeah, this Amity is a solid defensive football team. They have some good people in there. They're not afraid to hit. They're pretty active in there. Wishbone for the Raiders. That's the fullback, Traz, and he's uh, tripped up by Richard Telly. Right, here's Mike Traz, the Raider fullback, finding some room inside. And he goes some, some good yardage, tripped up in there. Right in the middle of the Spartan defense. So the Raiders have a third down, third and short for Derby at their 39-yard line to the bottom part of your picture. That is the senior wide receiver, Steve Kutcher. Raiders shift out of the wishbone, split backs, and there's the pitch to Palmieri. And Palmieri is stacked up on the far side of the field. First one to get to him is Brett Dedman. Well, a pitch that had been working so well from, for them the first half didn't work there. Uh, there's the defensive adjustment, Bay Well, Bay. maybe I guess the Spartans have made some sort of a defensive adjustment to the half. At least they shut down that play. So the Raiders, on their first possession of the second half, unable to move the football, they'll punt it away. And the senior Jeff Owens will be standing inside his 30 yard line. Gets the good long snap. We've got a flag on the play as Owens gets it off. So the play is automatically ruled dead encroachment. It's a five yard mark off against the Raiders, and Raiders will have to kick the football away again. Back deep for the Raiders, Jim Camerata. 
and it sails over Camerata's head and inside the 25-yard line. And the Spartans will take over at that point, but not before we take this time out. Welcome back, everyone. And the Spartans, their second possession of the second half. They have the football at the 23. Hulcher wants to throw all over him. Sean Wandell has had an outstanding game defensively for the Raiders. Number 80, there he is. A junior defensive end. Nice Spartans trying to generate something. Have Hulcher go back to throw. However, no one blocks Sean Wandell. And of course, he's, the ball is blown dead. Big loss for the Amity Spartans. Second and 17 coming up for Amity. As you get a look at one of the Spartans on the sideline, number 75, that is Jimmy Gooch. Raiders lead at 14 to nothing. Third quarter action. The Spartans will be looking for a big play this series, Ed. They're going to need one to be in this ball game. And they broke, broke the bone. I formation Hulcher in the flat, incomplete, broken up by Chris Bonanto. Bonanto having an outstanding game at defensive tackle. Quad captain Chris Bonanto. And I thought that ball might be intercepted. That, that, almost, that ball was almost intercepted over there. That would have been an easy six for the Raiders. Jennings checks in with the play from uh, Coach Len Marazzi, the third year head football coach up here at uh, Amity High School. And the Spartans have broken that bone. They've gone to the I formation. Deadman is the up back. Behind them, the tail back. That is Audi. Obvious passing formation. And Holcher on play action, throwing it out, completing it to Deadman. Deadman. Crosses the 35, and I believe he's picked up that first down before he stopped by Joe Martin and Mike Harkin. Here's one of the big plays the Spartans needed. Hulcher going back, finds his receiver. Deadman makes a great one-handed grab, turns completely around, gets, gets enough yardage for the first down. Great play, Spartans. So the football marked at the 36 yard line and Amity has moved the football well the second half. Ultra on the option, pitches. Audie hemmed in with really no room to, to, to maneuver in on the near sidelines, hemmed in by Captain Todd Hunter. Here's, here's one part of the option, okay. Quarterback Hulcher down the line, makes his pitch, finds some running room, Devin finds some running room. Second down coming up for the Amity Spartans. Football at their 40 yard line. They've broken that bone, they've gone to the I formation, they've opened up that offense. Hulcher, option right, pitch, Audi. This time though, the Raiders again defensively do not let Audi get to the corner. Okay, the Spartans are running it from the eye. They're uh, the option from the eye. There's no fake to any fullback. Straight down the line, pitches to Audie. Picks up a couple of yards over on the right side. And that was Todd Hunter. Big play, big play for the Spartans here, Ed. Todd Hunter, Fran on the key defensive play for the Raiders. Third and short, key play indeed. Amity has to not only pick up the first downs, they've just got to get on the scoreboard, something they have not been able to do this year. Inside handoff for the first down, that's Deadman before he's tack uh, tackled and stopped by Chris Bonanto. The Amity Spartans are not giving up. This is a straight dive play to their powerful fullback. Finds good yards inside, first down. Nice play, Spartans. That Deadman on the carry. Amity needed that first down, Ed. They're in this game. First down for Amity. Offset eye formation now. Deadman is the fullback. The eye back is Audie. 
and Audie gets the pitch. Audie cuts it back in at midfield. He does not want to go down. A determined runner is Audie. He's finally dragged down by Valentine and Martin. We are... Hey, Amity's playing with a new determination. The pitch to Audie around the corner. They've changed their sets. Derby fails to adjust to it. Audie finds a lot of room around the left side, and he's running with great determination in there. The Amity's playing a good football game this half, Ed. I'm, I'm happy with their play. However, they must get on the board. Second and short for the Amity Spartans, the football at the Raider 43-yard line. Late stages, third quarter, from here at Sim Field in Woodbridge on just a sparkling night for high school football. Couldn't ask for a better night. Hulcher, deep downfield, incomplete. He had a streaking Jimmy Camerata on the far sidelines, triple coverage for the Derby Red Raiders. Hey, here's Hulcher going back, Camerata on a fly pattern. Good blocking up front by the Spartans. Throws the ball well downfield, however, it's too far. Jimmy Camerata, 21, 5'4", 125 pounds, sophomore wide receiver. You're gonna hear an awful lot from Jim Camerata in the next two years up here at Amity. Third and short, Holcher the option to Audie, and Audie has the first down. A flag, however, dropped at the line of scrimmage. Owens and Valentine on the takedown. Well, let's await the official's call. It looks like it's going to go against the Amity Spartans. And what Amity is doing, regardless of the penalty, they're they're running a load option. They're not. All right, Amity is running a load option. They're not they're not faking to the fullback. The fullback is coming out as a blocker, and this is creating some problems for the Raiders. Big room, a lot of running room around that side. A lot of running room. The Raiders have to make an adjustment to that play. Yeah, they haven't done so. So the mark off for on the infraction against the Amity Spartans. That sets Amity back on their side of the 50 yard line, back at their 44 yard line. And they now have a second, we'll repeat the down, second and 16. Check that third and 16. Holcher over the middle, incomplete in traffic. That was the male, the intended receiver, Bazzato on the coverage. Okay, Halcher back to pass, looks for his receiver. He's broken up in there by Bazzato. A nice play by the Raiders. Pass was intended for Steve DeMeo, number 11. So Amity, while they have shown some flashes here on offense, they have... No, the penalties have hurt them, man. That, they, they, critical the fumble mistakes. And the mistakes have hurt them. And they have slowed themselves up here in the second half. And Roman on the punt return. And a flag, another flag dropped on the play. Or was that a flag? Yeah, it was a flag. And I'm, I'm sure it was some kind of a personal foul over by the Derby side. And they're talking it over on that, on that side. Fran, while we have a break in the action, let's go to our weekly feature here on our Cable 10 Sports Valley High School Football Game of the Week, Coach's Tips with John Bud Chernovitz. Today again, we're going to highlight line play, and we're going to talk a little bit about double team. We've got a big, ugly tackle here who has been killing us, and we've got to double him in order to make some yardage. So what we've worked on in practice is just a quick double team block. The man on him is going to just post him and create a block where he can try and control him, and then our off guard is just going to come, and he's going to take his legs out from under him. We're going to create the double team, open a hole, and we're going to probably make seven or eight yards. 
The play is very simple. The post block or the lead block here and then the post block from the guard and we'll drive and open up that hole. Ready guys? Ready? Hike. Good lead, the post, the drive, and there's the whole force again success. And it's easy out here, but not that easy on the field. We'll see you next week. Welcome back everyone. Clipping, okay. Here we have, um, okay, Raiders picking and receiving the punt, and Roman pick, receiving the punt, moving it around, and there's a clip down here along the Derby side. We don't have the number on it. Oh, there it comes. Okay, it looks like John Anna Roman on the clip. First down play for the Raiders. First down. The whole center of that Amity line on the in on the tackle. Raiders have been in a football game this second half here at Sim Field. They lead it 14 to nothing. Well, uh, this has been an Amity quarter. Well, they've been unable to score. And we have concluded three quarters of play here at Sim Field in Woodbridge. Our score, Derby 14, Amity nothing. Welcome back, everyone, as we begin the fourth quarter here at Sim Field in Woodbridge. Raiders take over, second down, and a scissors play for the Derby Red Raiders crossing the 30-yard line. The fullback, Traz, upended finally by Steve DeMail. Now here's Traz on the Derby counter, finds running room inside. Okay, a good tackle out there by DeMail. He had some running room. And a reminder to our viewers, uh, Fran Cirillo, that at the conclusion of this football game, we're going to be making our presentation of our Fitzpatrick's Player of the Game Award. Had several players play well out here tonight, Ed. It's going to be a tough decision. A lot of outstanding play in our Cable 10 Sports Valley High School Football Game of the Week. What a pop there. Chris Costanza on the pop of Roman. And I'm impressed with this Amity. They haven't given up. Look at this hit. Yeah, just an absolutely great play in there. They haven't given up. I, I admire that courage on the Amity on the Amity Spartan team. Second and ten for the Raiders. Redadori play action fires over the middle incomplete. Right, Derby's looking to generate some offense. They sent Gudadaria back. The ball is broken up in there nicely by the Spartan, middle of the Spartan defense. Spartans are playing a good defensive half. Third down for the Derby Red Raiders. Line of scrimmage, the Raiders 30 yard line. Raiders lead it 14 to nothing, all the scoring in the first half. Derby in a passing formation, single setback, and he gets it. Darren Murray on the tackle, on the draw play with have a single setback. Okay, we have a flag back here, Ed. I, well, let's wait for the flag. Derby runs that draw, they run it very well. They run it to Palmieri, who's done that over the past three weeks. Good effort on Palmieri's part. Look at that man churn up, that, churn up those yards. Good effort. However, I think they're going to bring it back, Ed. Oh, another flag. And we have had an awful lot of flags in this football game. Oh, it hurts the team. And also, you see in your picture right now, one of the Raiders down with some kind of a leg injury. Thinking that it might have been Jason at the end of that run. But we have not spotted a number. The working on his lower leg in the uh, calf area leads me to believe it might be some kind of a uh, cramp. Usually it is. Let's hope it's not serious. You know, Fran, at this time of the year, you don't expect the temperatures that we've had. I know it's a night game, but it's rather mild weather for late October. That's very true, Ed. The kids aren't used to this. It is Palmieri. It's, uh, it looks all right. OK, that's what it was. It was a cramp. I'm sure he'll see action further along in the game. 
So it's a third down coming up for the Derby Red Raiders. And with the penalty, they have third and 21. Line of scrimmage just outside the Raider 20-yard line. We're just into the fourth quarter of play, and Derby leads it 14 to nothing. And Grutt gets it out, far sidelines, completes it. Outside the 30-yard line, Chesterson on the stop. Okay, Chris Godadoria takes it back, throws that sideline pattern to Hunter. Hunter makes the catch out there. However, it's far short of the first down. The Raiders will have to punt. Fourth down for the Raiders. They lead it 14 to nothing. Obviously, they want to don't want to do anything foolish at this point. They get it off. That is Owens, the punter. And it's going to roll dead in the vicinity of the Amity 40-yard line. So the Spartans will have the football in excellent field position. scrimmage the 42 yard line amity has played derby tough in this second half but the raiders own the lead 14 to nothing there's a key series for the amity spartans that they must put it in here well they go back to the tight wishbone formation double tight end the fullback is deadman and deadman is one tough runner as he crosses midfield before he's upended by smatana Smatana playing the Raider spot for the Raiders in place of the injured Palmieri. What determination here by Deadman. Finds little opening in the middle of the Raider line, keeps those legs churning, keeps fighting for yardage. Great effort, Deadman. And Deadman is close to the yard. It's needed for the first down. Second and short, the ball at the Derby 49. Last quarter action, fourth quarter action here at Sim Field. Fullback is Deadman. And the halfbacks, Kasarka and Audi. Play action and an incompleted pass, and a white flag is coming in. Pass was intended to the tight end, Costanza. Pizzano on the coverage. I believe they're going to rule pass interference against Derby. Yes, they a late, are. A late call. Though. Yes, it was. It was called by the official on the offside of the field who probably had a better look at the play, Ed. It was a good call. It was a good call. Okay, here we have it again. Spartan receiver. Good fake. Good fake in there. Spartan receiver and McLean. However, he is. It's an early hit. It's an early hit by Bazzato, the Raider defender, and it's going to be an Amity first down. So it's a mark off of 15 yards on a pass interference, according to Federation rules, and Amity has the football at the 35-yard line, just across the 35. And the Spartans have not folded their tents by any means. Ed, they're very much in this game. They have played an inspired second half here. A little bit of a, a, a little bit of the change, Fran, that they made in the offensive backfield. The fact that they, that they moved Deadman to the fullback spot where he's been running well, and they inserted the sophomore at one of the halfback spots. Deadman's running at fullback has been a big key. That's Deadman, this time being tied up by the Derby defense, led by Captain Mike Valentine. Amity is also, okay, here's Deadman. Fullback, this time he's met by a stiff Raider line. Not going to give many room in there this play. The Raiders are going to have to tighten that defense. The Spartans are determined. Second down for the Amity Spartans. Fullback is Deadman. Fake inside. Holcher on the option. And he's finally dragged down an open field. Joe Martin on a fine defensive play. The Spartans are running the here they do they run there, go back to their wishbone option. Hulcher finds some running room. I think if he pitched the ball, he had big yards. He elected to keep it for a short gain. Had he pitched the ball, Ed, they had some big yards around that left side. Spartans are playing an inspired second half. Third down coming up for the Amity Spartans. 
in the wishbone. Fake to the fullback, that's Audie, and Joe Audie still on his feet. Running room ahead of him, inside the 20, the 10, the 5, Amity score. Joe Audie. The fake inside on the wishbone, and Audie around the left end, and Audie cut it back. Once again, once again, the Amity Spartans. Here's a play Derby has failed to stop the half. Here's the option play. This time, he does pitch the ball. He could have done this the last time. Audie finds some great running room on the left side, some great individual effort, and there he goes. Cuts across the field, and there he goes into the end zone. Great play, Amity Spartans. They've got Derby on a run here, Ed. Audie made that cut, Grant, at the 20-yard line and took it across the green. Absolutely Joe Audie. great individual effort. Joe Audie. 5'8", 180-pound senior running back, and suddenly, Mr. Cirillo, we have a football game. We certainly do. You could feel this game changing. It'll be Steve DeMeo holding, and Joe Audie is the place kicker for the Spartans. And Audie brings the Spartans within seven. And with the break in the action, our score is Derby 14 Amity 7. Back after this. Welcome back, everyone. Well, Buddy Chernovitz picked a good weekend to uh, to take off because Fran Cirillo's sitting in for Buddy Chernovitz. Fran, we've got a good one. Oh, this is an exciting game. This has turned into a real exciting game. Man. Now, something that we apparently missed, Fran. Derby had been penalized, I guess, on an extra point, and the Spartans are going to kick off on the Derby side of the field. And to compound the problems of the Derby Red Raiders, that's Audie teeing it up at the Raider 45. So it was marked off 15 yards. We've got seven minutes and change left here in the fourth quarter. And Derby is holding on to a slim seven-point lead, and the momentum is on the home side. Jeff Owens on the return, and the tackle made by Kirk Peterkin. Let's see what Coach Desenzo elects to do. Oh, Jeff had the coach a little worried there. I wasn't sure whether he was going to pick up that ball, and of course we all know he has to pick up that ball. After 10 yards, it is a free ball. Free ball. Out of the wishbone, that's in Roman running out of the left halfback spot as Derby would like to run some clock here and get some better field spot position. Darren Murray on the tackle for the Spartans. As you get a look at the Amity marching band pepping up the hometown crowd. That Derby needs a first down here to gain some confidence in their offense. They've been pretty much bottled up this half. Wishbone for the Raiders. Second back, that is... Palmieri, I believe. Darren Murray on the tackle. Let's get a look at that derby ball okay, carry. here it is. There's a delay. There's a delay. Give to Palmieri. Off of left tackle. He has some running room in there. He gets tripped up. Short gain for the Raiders. Big play. Big play for Derby. So setting that Derby backfield, and they're going to need to do the job offensively as they got now a third and five deep in their own territory just outside the 20. Traz is the up back, the fullback, the halfbacks in Roman, and Palmieri. And Greta Doria completes the pass for the first down. Peterkin on the tackle, but not before the reception. I believe it was the tight end. Todd Hunter, Greta Doria throwing. Okay, Greta Doria finds him. What a big play. Finds Hunter. Good catch. I'll tell you, the Raiders needed that first down. Ed. They were in trouble this game. And tacked on at the end of the play. And here's that mistake. Here's that mistake by the Spartans. A personal foul. And you just can't do that and expect to stay in a ball game against a good team. 
Just can't make those kinds of mistakes. So the Raiders now have it with the mark off of the penalty at the 41 of the Spartans. Wishbone, Raiders looking at one some clock. That is Ann Roman sliding off the right side. Richatelli ties him up, but not before John has picked up some good first down yardage. Now here's Ann Roman with good enthusiasm and blocking up front. Finds good yardage up there. Okay, and the Raiders have confidence again. Doesn't take much yet, one big play. Redadoria is the quarterback. Again, and Roman stood up, but not before John has fought his way close to another first down. Richatelli, again, an outstanding figure on defense for the Amity Spartans on the tackle. Okay, and here's Ann Roman again. Power blocking off the right side. Good running, good running in there. Enough for the Raider first down. Big series for both teams, Ed. On the handoff, inside the 25-yard line, Jason Palmieri, Steve DeMeo on the stop along with Camerata. Hey, Palmieri back in the game. Here's the second half of the Derby tandem. The Derby Junior tandem. Finds good yardage over there on the left side. Also, I noticed Fran picked it up. Finally, I picked it up that the Jeff Owens is, is operating as one of the tight ends out to the left side. Hunter on the double tight end, the tight end to the right side. And in Roman, on a second down carry, close to the yardage needed for the first down before he's tackled by the nose guard, Jennings. Here he is, Jeff Owens. It's third and short, key play. It's a key series for both teams. Spartans digging in, but the Raiders have now taken command of the line of scrimmage. Well, they, they, they found themselves again, Ed, and they're, they're playing with more enthusiasm. The blocking is a little better in there. They're finding more running room. And in Roman, like another first down. And in Roman has found another first down. John and Roman, Richatelli on the tackle. Well, after the Spartans scored, to make it 14 to seven, it was gut time for the Derby Red Raiders. Well, Mark, if any good team is when they're threatened, Ed, they can come back, and that's what the Raiders did. First down for the Raiders, and they are driving. Palmieri for three to four as he powers his way forward, stopped by defensive tackle Dave Audie. Hey, before I forget it, Fran, I'd like to thank uh, our excellent spotter from up here in the booth at Sinfield and Woodbridge. Second year we've been able, second week we've been able to have him in a row, Rich Scaife. And I'd like to thank him also. He's been a big help to both of us. And Rich Scaife hopeful to get back on the, uh, on the football field for the Raiders. Rich, of course, having an ankle injury. That is, and Roman, before he is stopped by Costanza, Well, things aren't bleak for the Raiders. They have two very fine running backs here in their junior tandem of Palmieri and Ann Roman. And let's not forget the job that's been done by Traz. He certainly back. has. He's helped them out tonight. Certainly has. Two minutes and change left in this football game. Raiders would just be content, actually, to just run this clock out. When we resume play here, the Raiders will have a third and six. Timeout for the Amity Spartans. And Fran and I are gonna have to huddle before we come up with our Fitzpatrick's Player of the Game Award because we're gonna have a tough choice here. A lot of outstanding, a lot of outstanding players both sides of the field. Yeah, this has been an, an exciting high school football game. I'm very happy to be here working with you, with you on it. I, I really enjoyed it. And happy to have you, Fran Cirillo, of course. Fran and I were talking before the game, uh, talking about the fact that uh, you at one time were a head coach over Mr. DeCenso. <laughs> this was in our Pop Warner program, early in the uh, middle and late you don't 60s. Have, you don't have to mention <laughs> when. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Coach DeCenso, of course, a very fine high school football coach. 
there is uh, Buddy Turnovitz, Buddy Turnovitz's youngest son, Brad Turnovitz, taking in the action. When we resume play here, the Raiders will have a third down. They are deep in Amity territory, just outside the 10 yard line as the Spartans dig in. Radadoria, play action, throws it out. Incompleted pass on the third and six. Okay, good Adoria, but Derby going for it all here. Looks for Todd Hunter down there in the corner of the end zone. However, the ball is overthrown. Derby has an option here. They can either go for a field goal, put the game away, or go for that first down. Looks like a field goal, Ed. And Bozzato has the leg for the field goal. Ball will be set up at the 19 if Steve converts it to 29 yarder, and he's capable. And Bozzato drills it. What a weapon, what a weapon that is, Ed. And knowing that you have a young man like Bozzato that can drill it with ease from 29 yards out, that's got to help your yeah, offense. It certainly, it certainly that makes you a threat to score inside that 20-yard line, and that really helps Derby. It gives them a, a commanding lead at this point in the game. Well, there must be some some connection with Bozzato and Amity because it was last year in in, in Derby's 10 to nothing lead that Bozzato also kicked an important field goal in that yeah, football yes game. Yes, it was. That was a tight ball. Amity played him tough there too. If I remember, you're absolutely Top right. It. Two minutes and two ticks left in this football game, and Bozzato will be kicking off. The Raiders have taken a 17 to seven lead. Coming deep, Deadman on the return, and Brett Deadman, oh my goodness, Brett Deadman takes it almost to midfield. Palmieri on the tackle. Deadman for him, and he takes, takes the kickoff. Finds big running room inside there, and they needed a big play, and they almost get it. A saving tackle made in there. On the first down play, that's Holcher throwing out to Camerata, incomplete. Amity's gonna have to score quickly here. They need that big play. They almost had it on the kickoff. Second down and uh, two wide receivers out to the right side in the bottom part of your picture. High formation on second down. The big quarterback culture back to throw. Winds up, throws downfield. Incomplete. Almost picked off by Owens. It was intended for Camerata. All right, here's Hulcher. Good Hulcher. Going back, throwing as far as he can downfield. However, the ball is well overthrown. Almost intercepted out there by Jeff Owens. Third down for Amity. Third and 10, football at their 48 yard line. Time running down here at Sim Field. Holger on the option. Audi, midfield. And then popped out of bounds. Coming up to pop him, Pizzotto along with Gennetti. running that option that they've run so effectively this half. With the fullback out in front blocking the pitch to Arnie, evades a tackler and finds good running room. Steve is out on the tackle. There you go. has run that option well this half. There, Fran, just a moment ago in your picture, we saw the scoreboard clock here, and the amount of time left in the fourth quarter of play and in this football game. Derby leads it 17 to seven, but it has not been easy for the Raiders. No, it hasn't, and the score of a game is often deceiving. This has been a tough football game for Derby. It's a good football game. Actually, both teams can be very proud of the way they play tonight. 
Derby, of course, coming into this football game three and three, three and two in the league. If they hold on to any part of this league, the Raiders will go four and two in Housatonic League play. Amity, on the other hand, they came in two and four overall, two and three in the Housatonic. And if they are not able to overcome Derby here, they will drop to an opposite record in the Housatonic. They'll drop to a two and four yeah, record. My feeling is this Amity team will win some games before the year is over. I, I've liked the way they've played, especially this second half. Fourth down for the Spartans. They have it at the 46. That's Steve DeMail slot to the left side. Hulcher throwing incomplete. He tried to hook up with Camerata Owens on the coverage, and that ought to just about salt things away for the Derby Red Raiders. Okay, here's Holcher trying to hit Camerata on the sideline. Looks one way, throws the other. However, the ball of Camerata is underthrown. That should be it for the Spartans. Ed. Going coach Desenzo, he's just going to tuck that football away at this point and just run out the clock. With a little bit over a minute left to go in this football game, and it's been a well-played game. Both teams inside handoff. To the fullback, Traz. All Derby wants to do is run that clock out, Ed, and get out of here <laughs> with the win. With the W. And speaking about uh, the next week's opponents, the Amity Regional Spartans, well, they are going to travel to Wallingford to face Lyman Hall. And possibility there for the uh, for a, a W for the Spartans because they have really played well here this evening against Derby. And speaking about the Derby Red Raiders, as you just saw Palmieri, who is one busy ball carrier this evening on the on the second down carry. The Raiders are going to be in action at Ryan Field against the Seymour Wildcats. Yeah, big Valley game. Those Valley games are always a lot of fun. Of course, they're intense, and it should be a good ball game there in Derby. And we'll have that on our Cable 10 Sports High School Football Game of the Week. So Raiders just run it out here at Sim Field. And Roman. And that ought to just about do it. The Spartans have called the timeout. The Amity Community Service Organization is sponsoring a five-mile road race this Sunday at one o'clock, starting at Amity High School. If you want to make it, be as Ed Roman is carried to the 47-yard line. And if this Amity Spartan team <coughs> plays like they did the second half against Wallingford, then I'm sure they're going to do well. Uh, they're they're a good football team. Fran, made too many mistakes to win this game tonight, however. Fran, after that, the next game for the Spartans, they'll be back here at Sinfield two weeks from this evening. They'll be facing the uh, East Haven Yellow Jackets. Well, East Haven has had their problems this year also. This will be an opportunity for Amity to, uh, to, uh, to win a game. And of course, completing the Amity schedule, they wrap up their season with their traditional finale. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be going up against the Seymour Wildcats. That game will be played at the Barber Field. Seymour. Fourth down and 14 seconds showing on the scoreboard clock. Audie is back as a single safety. And Roman on the pitch out, trying to consume as much time as as much time as possible on the sweep to the right side. And Amity trying to get their offense on. And it's short of the mark for a first down. Amity will have a first down, but at this point it's fairly academic. This game is going to go in the win column for the Raiders. They go four and three on the season, four and two in Hoos play. And the Spartans two and five overall and two and four in league play. First down, we'll at least get this one play. Hulcher, uh, Hail Mary pass downfield. And that's it. Our final score from here at Sim Field in Woodbridge. Derby, 17, Amity, seven. 
Fran and I will be back with the presentation of the Fitzpatrick's Player of the Game Award right after these messages. Six months ago, this 12-year-old thought he was just out having a little fun. Where do you go before things get out of hand? He got help at a youth center. They got help from the United Way. All because the United Way got help from you. The United Way. It brings out the best in all of us. Selection, service, and satisfaction. That's what Fitzpatrick's means to you. Selection. Fitzpatrick's carries a complete line of Chryslers, Plymouths, and Mazdas. Service. Fitzpatrick's employees offer you a total of more than 456 years of service. Satisfaction. Fitzpatrick's means satisfaction. You'll get great deals on four wheels. It's the best value in the valley. For selection, service, and satisfaction, come to Fitzpatrick's, your Chrysler, Plymouth, and Mazda dealer. Fran Cirillo, we, we picked a good game to, uh, to initiate you uh, in our broadcasting crew here at uh, Valley Cable Vision, our Cable 10 Sports Valley High School football game of the week. We had a good one here at Sim Field in Woodbridge. It was uh, finally won by the Derby Red Raiders, and it was a tough football game, the Raiders winning it over the Amity Spartans uh, yeah. by a score of 17-7. to 7. Yes, it was. It was an exciting game, and it wasn't easy. I mean, uh, the Raiders will tell you, and I think uh, our player of the week is also going to mention that the uh, he probably will mention the Amity Spartans gave them all they can handle. And speaking about <clears throat> that player of the week, uh, our Fitzpatrick's player of the week, our presentation will be going to the offensive tackle and the defensive tackle and a quad captain for the Derby Red Raiders. I'm referring to Chris Bonanto. Outstanding captain for the Derby Red Raiders. Chris, first of all, congratulations on being named as our Fitzpatrick's player of the game award winner. It's always great to give it to a lineman. Here is your plaque from Fitzpatrick's great game. And uh, Mr. Cirillo, Chris, Coach I, Cirillo. Uh, I have a shirt for you here for player of the week uh, presentation to you from Fitzpatrick's. Okay, Chrysler Plymouth, uh, congratulations. Thank you, thanks. Uh, you played a, played a good ball game. Ed and I were commenting most of the night about your play. Uh, what would you think of the Spartans tonight? Oh, they, they weren't a bad team. Uh, they hung in there till the end. They came out strong the second half. But uh, I give them a lot of credit for hanging in there. Yeah, where did you feel you finally won the game, Chris? Uh, On that last drive we had, we went. it was important for us to get that drive, and we got it and took it down, drove it right down the field. That was important. I'm glad you said that, Chris, because Ed and I were commenting on the same thing. Derby needed that drive, and you got it. Yep. It's a mark of a good team, Chris. Great game tonight. I'm happy for you. Well, that's going to just about uh, wrap things up from here at Simfield and Woodbridge. Once again, our final score was the Derby Red Raiders 17, the Amity Regional Spartan 7. On behalf of Fran Cirillo, this is Ed Clemens saying goodbye, everyone. <laughs>